Talk to a WNWO investigation earlier this year in just an hour from Toledo, the nation learned that Detroit alone had nearly 10,000 untested rape kits sitting on shelves. Now, though, on a much smaller scale, Ohio has its own backlog. And while the state is working to clear the cases, one man says we're not doing enough and not fast enough. We talked to both sides and Toledo police to get the whole story. In late 2011, Ohio's Attorney General announced a sexual assault kit testing initiative. I said, look, bring them to me. Bring them to BCI. Bring them to our crime lab. We will test them. We will not charge anything, but we owe this to the victims. In October 2012, the testing began, and by July 15th of this year, 3,226 had been submitted to Ohio's Bureau of Criminal Investigation Labs. The idea that we could have a rapist out there who is still out and we've got the evidence in the state and if we just test that evidence we can get him and stop future rapes you know you can't you got to do it of those tests more than 300 have come from northwest ohio with 285 submitted by toledo police the fourth highest number in the state um, if the investigation turned out at that particular time that there was not enough evidence or whether if someone was not truthful um, even if there is a stranger, um, where there's a sexual assault, where it involves a stranger, that kid's going to go down too as well. The oldest cases are analyzed first before a deadline to prosecute might expire. We've been able to go back to police departments and say, that's your rapist, that's your guy, go arrest him. The case is 17 years old. One in four of the tests done by mid-July resulted in a hit in the DNA database known as CODIS. But the Attorney General's office says it's only been able to complete tests on 1,000 of the 3,000 kits submitted. He put out a call to all these uh, police departments to send it in, and in hindsight, it's clear they weren't prepared for it, they weren't staffed up on it. DeWine's office did add four scientists when the initiative started and last week helped break ground on a new crime lab at BGSU that will analyze rape kits in the future. Still, his political opponent wants more. And I just think the pace at which they're going and the way the numbers keep changing and the way the backlog keeps getting longer is just unacceptable. Pepper says the problem is BCI isn't sharing the workload. He says it should be divided among other crime labs in the state. But Toledo police aren't so sure that would work. I don't see the sense in that. If we have a lab that's close by who's been doing our rape kits, I think you would want to send it down again, again for consistency, for evidentiary purpose. Despite their differences, all sides agree. I think people want these rapists caught. I mean, what if it's your daughter? What if it's my daughter? What if it's my wife? You know, we've got to stop these people. And whether or not a crime can be prosecuted now, the evidence submitted could help catch a criminal in the future. Now, according to the group Human Rights Watch, there are 400 to 500,000 rape kits in police storage facilities across the United States.